Good morning, guys. This is a day in the life of an endoscopy nurse working in the countryside in the United Kingdom. We only have two shifts, which starts either 8 or half past 8 in the morning. I usually set my alarm at half past 6. I start the day with a prayer and opening my Bible app to read the Bible verse of the day. Hello, my name is Paris Abraham from Levant Ministries, serving in the Middle East. Today we are reading together from 1 Peter 5, 6. I already had shower last night, so in the morning, I usually just need to freshen up. The hospital is streets five minutes walk from her house. Thank you for
prepared procedure room. You are located inside the procedure room. You can be either a head nurse who will be looking after the patient or an assistant nurse who will be assisting the nurse endoscopist or the consultant. It is also important to check the control drugs by both two nurses daily. If you are in the recovery area, you also need to make sure that all the checklist has been done. You could also be assigned a stack gun. You are responsible to prepare the scopes needed for the list on that day taking it safely in a trolley from sterile department to endoscopy unit and then vice versa when they finish in the procedure room. assisting nurse you need to assemble the scopes and make sure that all the necessary checks has been done ready to be used by the doctor or nurse endoscopist
one of the important role of an endoscopy nurse is also to admit and discharge patients. Hello, good morning. This is one of the staff from endoscopy. I'm bringing a uh, patient. Thank you very much. Bye. Hello, good morning. This is one of the staff endoscopy. I'm bringing for patient. She has no result yet for COVID swab. Just would like to know if they, you could request a COVID swab for her. All right. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. We also offer to our patients water and make them a cup of tea or coffee. We also serve biscuits or cheese and crackers. So it's a must that you know how to bake a cup of tea or coffee. that will go into have an endoscopy this morning while in room two we also have five outpatients for room one the one who will do the procedure or who will scope the patients is a nurse endoscopist so mostly the patients are for gastroscopy procedures and the other one is for colonoscopy. One is both um, gastroscopy and also colonoscopy. In room two, the one who will scope is the consultant. Most of the procedures in the list are colonoscopy, so uh, there would be pre sigmoidoscopy procedure, and one of it is a therapeutic procedure, which means that um, it's a special procedure or treatment, so they're going to do a banding that is applicable for patients who has hemorrhoids, and um, the other one the patient is for gastroscopy. And we also have um, two inpatients, which are both for gastroscopy. So right now, I'm here doing vlogs because I don't have yet uh, patients in the recovery at the moment. So we are still waiting for the patients from the procedure room to finish their um, procedures. So yeah, it's already 12 o'clock and hopefully um, we could have lunch. If the coordinating nurse or the charge nurse is having their lunch break, you will be the one to hold the control drug keys 
cupboard or stocks. <music> Finish escorting a patient going back to ward 22, and now I'm going back to the endoscopy department. It's my first time to escort the patient. Fire ambulance back to the ward. Wow, what a nice experience today! So, from medical to I'll just go for a walk going back to endoscopy department. <laughs> So for this afternoon's uh, list, guys, for room one, it's a nurse endoscopies. We'll do the procedures or we'll scope to the patients. So in the list for this afternoon, they have uh, three colonoscopy procedures and two gastroscopy, which are all um, diagnostic procedures only while the, in room two it's the consultant who will do the scoping and the procedures are mostly therapeutic so one colonoscopy and the three are all gastroscopy which are um, therapeutic procedures and they are all um, in patients so two of them are from acute medical unit the other one is a patient uh, for gastroscopy for dilatation. So we have quite uh, a long list um, today, especially this afternoon, because there are a lot of big patients, but because we have a good stuffing, we are uh, three recovery nurses. So everything is um, are manageable and we don't have any complications in the procedure and so on as in the recovery so we just uh, basically escort the patient if we are an inpatient and now later I will me and my colleague will um, transfer the patient back to medical unit since we want the patient to be transferred as soon as possible to their respective ward so we just don't wait for the porters to come instead we the nurses will be the one to transport the patient so porter rolls yes yeah, so I will do the pushing of trolleys or bed of the patient from endoscopy unit to the ward or to a good medical unit. Just need muscles for <laughs> this. patient's observations and recorded it in the electronic pathway and if the patient has no complications in the recovery you can already prepare the patient for discharge by making a simplified version of their report or the result of their test.
Now we're almost finished, but first we need to make sure that our shutdown checklist has been done before leaving the unit. Guys, my papa's putting on shift. today it's a good shift as well productive day for me in the morning naging busy kami kasi we have a lot of impatience from different wards yun naging busy ang recovery so ang nangyari naging one is to one kami sa recovery we're busy because we also have a lot of patients from ERCP or post ERCP well some of them have mga complications like yung patient ko kanina who is having an pain and then we have doctor in the ERCP post ERCP uh, you need to give IV fluids for an hour so tatlong patients yung nag start kami ng IV fluids during recovery nila tomorrow another day na naman another shift so I'll be working half past eight until seven in the evening thank you for watching my vlog guys hope you will also click like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell button as well so you will be updated for more informative vlogs thank you for watching guys bye They don't jiggle jiggle, it folds I like to see you wiggle wiggle, for sure Make you wanna dribble dribble, you know Riding in my feet